In order to help automate the process of creating files to upload to a forum, I created the function export clip art. When I upload a graphic to the sand carving forum, I will upload a, a the Adobe Illustrator AI file, which is the vector graphic, and I will also upload a an associated JPEG, which would be a thumbnail so that people can see what that graphic looks like, but in, so they can determine if they want to download it or not. This function of export clip art automates the process of creating a JPEG and the associated AI file for a single graphic, naming them the same name. It creates the thumbnail JPEG file as 700 pixels maximum, whichever is the uh, widest or tallest, so that it's a manageable uh, thumbnail, and creates an Adobe Illustrator version 3 file, which is the most common, so anybody can import or export that. When I create those, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see. All I have to do is select the item, say export clip art, and I will call that Pixie. It's done. It's created the file, and if we look on my desktop there is Pixie JPEG and Pixie AI waiting to upload to the forum. If I have a number of files that I'm going to upload and I want similar file names and put a counter on them, all I need to do is click on this and I'll call that Pixie-01. It's created that. I can select the next one and say export. It automatically prompts me for Pixie 02. I can accept that. It's done. I click the next one, export, and it's ready for that. It will continue on as long as you want to use that name. If I click another one and I want to change the name, all I have to do is call it Fairy 01. It'll export that, and when I click the next one, the prompt is for Fairy 02. So you can see, using this function, it automates the process of creating the files to upload to a form and makes it minimal trouble, and uh, the, the files are, are ready on your desktop, ready to upload. If there's anything that I can answer on this, if there's people who have questions, please email me. I'll be glad to help you out.